up everybody this is Clyad and today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to make a tape stop effect. This is a short project I just uh, whipped up together real quick and I used DT's mortar loop kit, uh, the Bukhari loop is the same but I'll let you guys hear the full beat real quick. And to add our tape stop effect, there's really two ways we could go about this. The first way I show you can be done with any DAW, not just FL Studios. And uh, we're going to be using a free VST from Illformed called the D Blue Tape Stop. So if you go to illformed.org, they got four different VSTs for free that you can download. I'll leave a link in the description for you to download. Alright, so if you got the plugin installed, um, you're going to go to your mixer and on your master, load the plugin. And we got three knobs. So it's easy to learn and easy to use. We're only going to be focusing on trigger and slowdown. Trigger itself is pretty self-explanatory. Is what triggers the tape stop effect. Listen. Slowdown controls how fast the tape stop effect will occur. Um, if I turned it up to 0.85 or 87, you'll see how fast the tape stop will happen. Listen. If I turned the slowdown down to 0.5, the tape stop effect will be slow. So I'm just gonna reset the slowdown. And to get the tape stop effect to play in our track, we're gonna right click on the trigger knob and then create automation clip. Then we're gonna go to our playlist. Now we see our automation clip and I only want the effect to occur at every bar. So what I'll do is I'll create a point at the very beginning of the fourth beat and drag it all the way to 0%. Then I'm gonna create another point at the same exact spot, but at 100%. Then I'll create another point as soon as the second bar starts, all the way to 100%. And another point, same spot, but drag it all the way down to zero. And basically what I told it is for the trigger to turn off during the first three beats and playing the fourth beat. Listen. But I want it to occur to every bar, so I'm going to go to the end and delete the end point. Then I'll select this small clip, hit Control B until it goes to the eighth bar. Now I have the effect playing at every single bar. Listen. But in my opinion, the effect is playing too fast I kind of want to slow down the effect itself so we're gonna go back to our plugin and uh, I'll adjust the slowdown mob as we're listening to it What I also could do is I could go back to our creation or to our automation clip, I mean, and have the trigger knob come in earlier. So I'll drag this creation point mm, a little earlier and maybe put some tension on it. That way the knob rises at a good pace. That sounds good to me. And that's really all that's to it, to this plugin. It's super easy to use. All right, so I'm just gonna turn off this plugin so we can bring in the other plugin that we're gonna use to make, which is Gross Beats. So we're gonna go to our third slot and open up Gross Beats. Gross Beats itself has so many presets that two or three of them are bound to have a tape stop effect sound in them. And uh, I know that Basic 10 creates a tape stop effect. Is that, is that it occurs at the second beat and I want it to occur at the fourth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this point, copy the value, 
right click at the endpoint, paste the value. Then if I right click on this point again, I'll notice that the mode is on single curve. So I'm gonna put this point on single curve. Next, you can see that the tension is at 35%. So I'm gonna also put this to 35. You can see the percentage here. And I'm just gonna delete these points. Now we have it at the fourth beat. Same thing with the debut plugin. We're just gonna go to gross beats on the mix level knob. We're gonna right click, hit create automation clip, and then go to our playlist. And I want the gross speed effect to only occur at every bar. So I'm gonna lower this whole clip and then make the same points just like with the debut plugin. Delete the end, select the clip, control V up until the eighth bar. Now we have gross beats only playing through all eight bars. Yeah, that's all there really is to it. And you can make a tape stop effect with either D blue or gross beats, or you could do what I do and use both and make like combinations with gross beat presets and the tape stop D blue to get some cool new sick effects. Like I made this nice combo effect. Yeah, I'll show you. Beat the gross beats on the maxer. Um, I'm just gonna use a loop. I added gross beats. Put on the scratch seven. So my loop's gonna sound like this. And then I added another gross beats and put on a slow triplet. But that changes the pitch of my loop. So I'm gonna fix that real quick. And then I'm going to add the D-Blue plugin. I put the slowdown to 0.05. And uh, I already made the automation clip earlier. I hit it because I don't want to confuse anybody if they saw it at the beginning. And then now my loop is going to sound like this. That's pretty much like my new go-to tape stop effect. Alright, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I'm out, you. Yeah.